perfect. What, what was your mindset? What was the most important thing you wanted to accomplish defensively tonight? Well, me and my team, we came in mama mentality, so we came in to play physical and strong, and we came in dominate. Hey, you. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell each time I come out with content. All right, let's go. What's going on, Draft Geeks, Draft Nerds, Draft Virgins? Your boy DMV back with another one here today to talk Christian Barmore out of Alabama. He calls himself B More and Unblockable. So we really going to see what that's really all about. But we do know that he's the unsung hero and he's the defensive MVP of the national championship game. But hey, you know, uh, anybody can have one good game. But what do you really have to bring to the table? So we're going to show uh, we're going to show the tape and we're going to really get into it and see how good he really is. If he's really worth the first round projection, the late first round projection uh, that he's getting, maybe he's a second round player. We're going to really get into that with this video. All right, let's go. OK, so this clip right here, I think is really impressive. So you can see him lined up as the five technique. So they're going to run a toss to the right hand side and there's going to be a guard that pulls. He's going to do a great job of stringing it along, coming down the line in pursuit. Getting his hands inside the chest of that guard, using the momentum against him and making the play as he comes back inside. Man, that right there, uh, woo, he was coached up well. And on this play, you're going to see him lined over the top of the guard. I believe he's the two technique on this play. What you're going to see is they're going to run a zone to the right. So the center is responsible for him. He's going to buck the center right in the chest, push him back, come straight down the line and make the play, man. This right here. A uh, really good run stop and play right here. So I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. This next player is going to see a common theme. So you want to see what his pass rushing ability is. He doesn't have very many moves, but he has a nice club rip. And you're going to see him do a club with the left hand, rip through with the right hand, and actually put the quarterback outside of the pocket and actually affect the play. Now you're going to see a play that's almost identical. He's going to be lined up in the two technique again right over top of the guard. He's going to do the same move. Club, left hand, rip with the right, come underneath, quarterback can't step up, errant throw. And see, that's a theme right there, man. He's somebody that allows the quarterback not to be able to step up in the pocket, and he demands a double team. If you can't, I mean, if you put one person on him, that's what you're going to get, exactly what you just got right there. This next play is on the goal line, man. This right here was a play that got me really excited. Watch the type of play he makes right here. Not only he gets right up under, the, he gets right up under the lineman, and it's a quarterback sneak, and he's actually the one that makes the play and stops the quarterback short of the goal line. I mean, look at that. Look at that push. Look at that leverage, and he makes that play, man. That's very exciting. As we move on to the next tape, and here he's lined up at the defensive end, so he's a guy who can line up in all different places on the defensive line. Here you're gonna see him. Uh, it's a run play, so he's going to create a stalemate, come down the line, come down the line and make the play. So that's great run defense right there from the defensive end position in the 3-4 setting. Here you're going to see him in a one technique. And what I like about this is that, you know, he, he, he demands two people here on this pass rush, but not they're not even enough. And he pushes back and allows his teammates to come in and he sacrifices his body in order for his teammates to come in and make a sack. Great play, young man. All right, this play, he's lined up in, as a one technique between the guard and the center. And he's going to do a stunt here. What he does a great job of is engaging, staying tight, staying tight. Now he rips through, makes a play right there. You know, now when your defensive tackle can make a play like that, he's ripping through, ripping through, rips through again, makes a play like that. Like all you're seeing is impact plays from him. Now, again, you're going to see him lined up in the one technique right here. So showing that he's a very versatile um interior defense alignment now he mans the double team quarterback can't step up teammates make the play so look um as you see right here unsung hero this is pretty much what he is now there are some rough things to his game you know what i'm saying like he, he and earlier in the year he really didn't get the burn like that now when things got tough and when money was on the line you saw that he was in there and he was making impact plays so there is a high very high ceiling for him but with that being said, he doesn't really have that experience like that to where you could say, hey, uh, this is the next Aaron Donald right here. You know, because there are times where, you know, his technique, he sacrifices his technique. He might be a little bit too high. Um, you know, sometimes he, he can get blocked. Sometimes he can pick sides. So really, it's all about the type of uh, system that he'd be going to. He could go to a 3-4, be versatile there. Um, he can go to a 4-3, play some one, play some three. So it really just depends on what type of team he goes to. But in my opinion, I think that the ceiling is very high for him. 
Um, it just matters on the defensive staff uh, that he's with and, and how to use him. Um, I think that Christian Barmore is a really good player. And, you know, would I want my team to take him? Uh, absolutely. Um, if they trade back, you're probably looking at the value for him is probably late first round to second round. But he won't be around for very long. It'll either be uh, end of day one or probably early day two. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell each time I come out with content. All right, peace. And remember, I'm not an expert. I just play one on YouTube. All right, one.